And the first person I want to mention is Mr. Oliver Stout. He's from Ward 5 Council Office, Representative of Councilman Zachary Parker. And I also want to recognize Ann Welch. She's from the District Department of Transportation. She's the project manager for uh, Taylor Street Project. And I also want to introduce Michael Albino from the District Department of Transportation. And I think you're a project manager also, Michael. He's a project manager. And uh, we also have Chris, Christine Mayer. She's here representing uh, Sarah Molina, who is a, she's like a, I think a part of the safety projects. Christine, thank you. And we were expecting uh, our regional minister, Reverend. He's here. Is, is he here? Yeah, he just, he just came in. Okay, so I'd like to introduce uh, our regional minister, Reverend Marcus Nevers. Are you on? Here he comes our regional minister, Reverend Martin Stavis. And also, is there is Miss Sin here? Okay, so this is Miss Sin. She is the ANC for this is what five 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 B zero two. And uh, again, we have Reverend Reverend Evans. So. Uh, Reverend Levis, I know you kind of just arrived. Would you like to possibly brief, brief the, uh, and say a couple words or in reflection on you know, that? Thank you so much, and thank you, Reverend, um, for having us here all tonight um, at, the, at the church. And thank you to everyone who came out um, on one of the hottest nights it's been some time. So um, I appreciate you all uh, the trip out here. Um, to, to discuss with us and engage in dialogue. Um, so we actually, we don't have a formal presentation for you tonight. We don't have slides that we can go through. I'd like to devote well, most of this time to listening um, and hearing what you all have to say. Um, so we're going to spend, uh, I think, the bulk of that time engaged in just that. Uh, my colleague, uh, Andrew, who's the project manager, is, is going to be diligent and taking notes. And uh, we're going to do our best to answer as many new questions as we can. Can't get us through questions tonight. Our best to follow up, so we really appreciate um, the box that's out front. And I know a lot of people have been writing down the comments, um, but you'll have a chance to ask us questions as well. Um, a little bit, I will say, talk a little bit about uh, what the app is looking at on Taylor Street in Northeast, uh, which is um, a recommendation or proposal to install protected bike lanes on the street. Um, and I want to talk a little bit just about the, the process that we go through at DDOT, uh, and then I'll talk a little bit about what is actually being proposed right now and where we are in the process and where the opportunities for feedback will be. Um, so to start with, um, the good news is we're at the very beginning of this process. Um, we um, have not made any decisions yet. Uh, we are here to, to listen and to hear your questions and concerns and feedback. Um, and there will be more opportunities for that to come uh, throughout the process. Um, but a little bit about why, why we are here and, and why is the uh, considering putting uh, bike lanes on Taylor Street. Uh, well, there's a couple reasons. Uh, one is that we follow uh, a long-range transportation plan in the city that uh, sort of makes a, a recommendation of what the future of the city will look like um, for all of the transportation, for buses, for metro, for pedestrians, for cars. Uh, and one of the recommendations that's been part of that is to build a network uh, uh, separated by lane so that people have an option. Um, if they don't drive, if they can't drive, um, they choose to bike, they have a safe way to get around uh, the city. It's a healthy way to get around. It's environmentally uh, has benefits. Um, and it can be low cost for a lot of people. Um, so Taylor Street has been identified in that plan for some time. Um, one of the big reasons, the uh, question that we often get asked is, why do we put bike lanes on these bigger streets? Why can't the bikes ride off on the side streets or the local neighborhood streets? Um, that's a fair question. And I think um, one 
why are we looking at it right now? Um, you might say, why, why not go from somewhere else in the city? Um, and a big part of the reason I'll say is because of what we heard from this, this community. Uh, we received a petition um, from a group of your neighbors uh, in Ward 5 uh, who asked us to do this. They said the time is now. Um, and part of that is because of the, the number of schools that um, have come, uh, some of them have been here, some of them have been along Taylor Street.